Where do I begin? Oh, the plan of the serpent is fulfilled through those that he controls. When man seeks a higher order or desires to be a part of the ruling class, like Cain, he must use the power of the enemy. Yeah, you don't use God to be great in this life. No, you got to go sign up with something. You got to pledge something. God's music must originate with what? His intent. It cannot be. <laughs> 40 years old, ain't nobody married. Or everybody's divorced. Because we put worldly lust a high priority. The powers that be strategically create music that will put a mainstream message into people's minds and blind them to the truth. They would have no power if the church defined the roles of man and woman. Look at somebody say, wake up. Hi, I'm G. Craig Lewis of EX Ministries. And you are about to watch and experience a video that is very, very important, I believe, to the body of Christ. One of the most important videos we've ever uh, shot, and the information is, is, is just very disheartening at parts, but uplifting at many parts. It, it's basically a video that God has been dealing with my heart on for many, many years. A lot of personal changes that I've had to make uh, because of some of the things that I've discovered. Uh, growing up in a Pentecostal, with a Pentecostal background and uh, believing in the power of God, which I believe in fully, uh, a lot of times different things enter into our uh, churches and our ministries that aren't of God, but they simulate things that we are used to. In this particular video, we're going to show you the false side of the things that have entered into the body of Christ, that God is wanting us to remove from our, our, our practices that we call church. Sometimes we can be so used to certain things that we give it a pass, or we can be so used to seeing it that we just assume it must be God. But we're at a day and a time where a strong delusion has come, and we're, at a day, we're in a day where the Antichrist power is very prominent. And because of these things, it's time for us as believers to put away the emotions to get the word of God and really find out if what we are doing is of God. Only the word will direct us in that area. We can look at the fruit of many of the things that we've experienced and we can see some very serious inconsistencies in the things that we have experienced. A lot of the emotional outbreaks, a lot of the things that uh, have been uh, called the Holy Spirit of God or the power of God are simply emotional acts to cover up a lot of the bad decisions and bad choices that we've made in our personal lives. It's time for us to look at our personal lives so that we can truly exemplify Christ, we can exemplify the word, and we can shun the, the, the very works of darkness that are coming to cover up the darkness that is in our personal lives. We don't want to use God as an opportunity to show ourselves or to prove that we're saved or to show some kind of power in church that we cannot have at home. But the, the, the bottom line is God created us in his glory, in his image and in his likeness, and he blessed us and said that we were good just because he made us. We can't... We can't use some kind of emotional outburst or manipulation by certain preachers and different ones to feel better about a situation that we're supposed to be in control, in, control of. We're supposed to be in control of our lives and allow the power of God to lead and guide us. We should never lose control of our body, our mind. We should be sober-minded, and we should allow God to direct us, but in the earth we should have power over our bodies and not allow certain things to enter in and take control of us and throw us around a room or cause us to have violent outbursts or make us act weird and these kinds of things. These things aren't scriptural and we're going to show you in these videos the, the difference between what is real and what is fake. But before we do that I definitely want to share with you a couple of things. The Bible tells us to try every spirit and to try these spirits and to see if they are of God. So we want to prove that things are of God. So I want to tell you this even before we get started. If you want to prove that it is of God, here are a few things that will help you. The first thing is, if it, it, it should bring repentance. If it doesn't bring repentance, then it's not of God. 
if there's a move of God and people aren't moved to repent, it's not of God. And I'm not saying I'm sorry. I'm not talking about I'm sorry. People saying I'm sorry is not repentance. Repentance is turning from sin. When people decide to turn from their sin and turn to God, then you know it was a true move of God. Healed homes is a sign of a move, uh, move of God. If your marriages are healed, if your relationship with your children are healed, if things get better in, ho in your home, then you know it was a move of God. But if divorce is still prevalent, if you're still fighting, if you're still separated, if things aren't getting better in your home, then you know that it was false. Also, better eating habits and better exercise habits and just taking care of your temple. These are things that come from uh, the power of God. God wants us to take care of our temple. So we can't just say smoking and drinking and those kinds of things are defiling our temple. But the food we're eating, everything, all those things are defiling our temple. So if it's the power of God, it's going to make you want to eat better. It's going to make you have better sleep habits. It's going to make you have better exercise habits and taking care of yourself. You'll want to do that if it is truly the power of God because that is his temple. Also, the fruits. What are the fruits? Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance according to the word of God. If these things aren't birthed out of this movement, then it wasn't the power of God because these are the fruits of the spirit. And he said, by the fruits will you know the difference. And then also desire to fulfill your creation role. If God made you a man, the desire to be a good man, the desire to be a good provider for your family, the desire to be the head of your house, these are the things that come when there's a true move of the Holy Spirit. For a woman, the desire to submit to the husband, the desire to take care of her home, keep a good home, train up her children, these are the things that are birthed through the power of God. If a woman's interests are suddenly, uh, she desires to think outside of her home, do everything outside of the home and want to you know, leave the home and forget about the children and the home and its condition, then you know it wasn't the power of God. That is the opposite of what God would do. Also, the number one would be change. That means break in fellowship with darkness. You want to change. That's the power of God. You want to get away from the things that are against God. You want to get out of the things that are against God. You want to denounce the secret society. You want to denounce the fraternity or sorority. You want to denounce the fellowship with the gang members and, and those sinners, those Facebook friends that are into all kinds of foolishness and different things. You want to break fellowship. You want to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. That is the first sign that there has been a change. And that change comes when there is a true move of the power of God. Now just a few warning signs to let you know when it is when you're in the midst of a fake revival, a fake prophet, a false prophet, the, the, these are, are signs that will let you know that you are in the presence of one of these types of false moves of God. Sin, immorality, sexual immorality, especially homosexuality. If a bunch of homosexuals are drawn to the meeting, if a bunch of homosexuals are dancing around the meeting, if a bunch of homosexuals are on the instruments, in the, on the organ, in the choir, if you see a lot of homosexuality, sexual immorality, then you know that it is not the move of God. We're living in a day right now where you're going to have to deal with the elephant in the room. You're going to have to deal with that because he is proof that something is wrong spiritually. So when men in those atmospheres lays hands on people, lay hands on their frontal lobe, they are putting false gifts and false things into the person. The Bible said, forget not the gift that was given to you by the laying on of hands. What is he talking about? He's talking about the true gift of God, the power of God. But what if that's false? What if the man is false? What if he's doing it for profit, for money? What if he's into all kinds of sin and sexual immorality? When, then when he lays his hand on you, he's putting a dirty or false gift inside of you. And it will wreck your life, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, it will wreck your life, your family's life, your relationship. And from then on, you will have issues prevalent in your life. Other warning signs are pomp. Pomp is the number one uh, warning sign. That's when a man desires to be lifted up. That's where when he puts on his collar, his robe, or whatever he's putting on, he feels better than the rest of the people, and he wants to be lifted up by men. This kind of pomp is a sign that is not God, because God humbles men. God causes men to be humbled by his power. So we know then that if a man is seeking title and status, then it's not a true move or method of God. Also, fame is another one. If he's seeking fame, if he's desiring to be lifted up, 
up, if if he's desiring to be seen, and if he's seeking the fame of the world, Hollywood, and he's buddy buddies with Hollywood people and people that promote sin as a lifestyle, and he's shaking hands with them, or they preach false doctrine, and he's close to them just because they have a platform and an audience, then you know it is not the true uh, uh, move of God because God doesn't operate through men like that. And then the love of the world and money, if they love money and if it's always about money and they're tying money into their prophetic uh, gifts and callings or whatever they're doing and it's always about getting more money and they're associating your money with your happiness or your money with your deliverance, then you know it is a false move of God. And then finally, the show of religion. And that's what we're going to be showing you and talking about in this particular video, those that make a show of religion. That's where they use the platform that God has to show themselves. Every prophecy they do has to be in the microphone. Every proof has to be in the mic. When they're walking around laying hands, they have to say things in the microphone. Making a show of religion, basically using you to uh, 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 lift up their platform. These are all false signs. These are signs that if they're ever prevalent, prevalent, you cannot ignore them because they are showing you and God is trying to show you. I, I was watching the, the, the final edit of this particular video and I was just in tears probably for 15 or 20 minutes of it because I just began to feel sorry for people that are sitting in churches and this elephant, the, the elephant is in the room and they are in such denial. God has given you every sign. He's shown you the immorality. He's shown you the homosexuality. He's shown you the money lover. He's shown you the Hollywood and the connection. And he's shown you everything about the people that you are following. And yet and still, you will not acknowledge the elephant in the room. You are in total denial. My prayer is that after watching and viewing this information, you will get out of denial and you will accept the fact that there are ravenous wolves that have come to take advantage of you. And God has given you all the tools necessary to escape it for your family's sake, for your sake, for your children's sake, and for generations to come. God bless you. This is an extraction project where people need to make sound decisions. Kundalini is the false Holy Spirit because it mimics power. Why do they want Kundalini? Because Kundalini manifests the sideshow in the church and gives them money. They can stand up and call out your credit card number and your social security number. That's a sideshow. Folks pay for that. They raise thousands. These guys bring profane music into the church and they work under the, the folks I showed you. And they work in the same magic with their music. How do we bring your glory? He said, you are my glory. When I created you, I created you in my image and in my likeness so you'll bring me glory. A good marriage, good children, teaching, those things bring me glory. And he said it's 